morning everyone so i actually haven't even hi lady in our car who's just staring at me um <laughs> yeah i haven't even said good morning yet but i have just arrived obviously it is what time is it um i can't see it's like 10 past nine 10 past nine got me out of bed we got some bread min picks me up at the tube it does taste really bad really really bad and we're walking back to Minnie's. Katie has gone into work. She has lab work to do this morning. So we are gonna cut about, do pics, wander around Chelsea because Minnie lives in bougie London. Um, and then what else are we gonna do? We're gonna I don't just know. wander probably. Just wander. But I feel Living dramatically London awake life. considering I woke up before in the morning. Awake. I feel dramatic. I do feel dramatically awake. Like I thought, oh, and I only had, I only, I had coffee in the car on the way to the airport, and then I had a Nutri Game bar. Are you from Glasgow? Yeah, and that's all I've, all I've had today, hey, and I feel so awake, ready for the sun. Oh. There you go, gorgeous. So yeah, we're just gonna wander to Minis and then take some pics. Hi guys, so update. So we just had lunch. We went to the South Kensington Creperie. Kensington Creperie. So yeah, we came from Minnie's, which is in Fulham to South Kensington. And then we are gonna go and meet Katie. So Minnie has to go to work um, at two. Then Katie's coming from her work to meet me. Then we're gonna pick up Lucy and then we're gonna go back to Katie's so I can drop my stuff off. I got another coffee, so I think I'm gonna be fine pretty much all day. I reckon it'll just be before bed that I'm gonna get tired. But we've taken so many pictures today, which is so good because I was literally running out. Like I had zero, so that was fab. Just gone to the toilet and now, yeah, we're gonna head over to Soho House, which is where Minnie is going to do some work. And then, yeah, I sucked at updating earlier on. It's like lunchtime now. Um, but I was just living my best life. Um, yeah, that's all I need to tell you about. Okay, update. Now it's freezing. We're just about to get dinner, but Katie and Kate need to do this like sprint session thing that they're doing for Frisbee. So I'm their timer. So they're like running around the block. Okay, I need to do it. So I'm gonna video it for you. Good morning all. So it is, what day is it today? What day is it today? It is Friday morning and I'm in the same spot as yesterday. Katie and Kate are warming up for morning sprints because we are going to cycle to this place for brunch with one of Katie's friends um, because it's her birthday tomorrow. So yeah, we are gonna cycle there at seven miles because I was like, we've got Harry Potter and the Cursed Child tonight, which is gonna be so fun. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So we're gonna go there this evening, but I'll explain a little bit more about that later on because they're ready to sprint. So I'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay, hi, future me here. So I'm just going through this and the weekend was honestly like the busiest thing I've ever experienced in my life. So I didn't have a huge amount of time to kind of stop and be like, okay, this is what's happening. Um, so on this day, it was the day before Katie's birthday. So the Friday, and first thing we got up, did, they did their sprints and then we went for brunch with Katie's friend Becky. So I showed you what we got, but then basically there's like a blur of no update and then we go somewhere and it's so confusing. So basically after we got back from brunch, we had like an hour and a half to get ready and we went to go and see the cursed child. So that was like Katie's birthday present from her flatmate and we had like unreal seats. Um, so yeah, we all went to go and see that with like a group of like eight of Katie's friends. And basically, if you don't know what it is, The Cursed Child is like a, a new thing from like JK, well, it's not new, it's like five years old, but basically it's like a, a play. So it's five and a half hours long. And the first half, they do like an hour and like 15 minutes and then you get like a little intermission and then you get another like hour and then you get a two hour break. And then, so it, start, it started at 
we had to be there for two o'clock so we got there we hadn't eaten since breakfast or like brunch or whatever so me and Kate like ran into Wingstop and we had to literally like like I was force feeding myself chicken because we were running so late so then we got in got our seats and it was all fine and then we went round the corner to Dishoom for dinner and then um it finished at like half nine maybe a little bit later than that and then we walked to embankment and got the tube from embankment so we walked like another like two miles ish after we finished just so we could all stretch our legs but yeah i wanted to kind of fill in the blanks there because i was aware that like throughout this i didn't have like three minutes here and there to like sit and explain because i was like i literally had 45 seconds before i had to time their sprints so yeah that is what happened today on this day so i hope that kind of explains it a little bit more Good morning, everyone. So it is Saturday morning, Casey's birthday, and I really struggled to fill you in yesterday. We were so busy. Like, I can't even explain to you how fast yesterday went. So we got up, we cycled to Fulham, which was seven and a bit miles. So I showed you like a little bit of that. Um, We arrived at brunch and then we had to be like super quick because we had to be at the theatre for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child at two o'clock. So that's when it like started. So we had to like be in there for two o'clock. So we went for brunch at half ten and then um, we had to be back here by one. So we had enough time to get ready and then get to the... No, we had to be back here by twelve. So we could leave at one to get to the theatre for half one. Um, so then... So then we went for brunch. I had um, I had fried chicken and waffles, which was divine. I've never had that before and it was so good. It was like a Canadian place because Becky, Casey's um, friend, is Canadian. So we went there and it was so good. And then we got, me and Kate got, Becky had to take a work call. So her and Katie got an Uber back and me and Kate got the tube back because we were in a rush. So we got back maybe like five, two, one, jumped in the shower, got ready, went there, but was like running low-key late and we were hungry because we hadn't had, like we'd had brunch at like half ten, but we hadn't had lunch and the next time we were going to eat was going to be at like half five. So we were like, okay, we went to Sainsbury's, got some snacks and then Katie was in wing stop. So she had ordered us some wings, but they took so long. So me and Becky went and peed and we came downstairs, the wings were ready, but we were like, we had to like, they were ringing the bell to be like, you need to come in now. So I literally was shoving these wings in my mouth and I had to bend one of them because, because I couldn't, I didn't have time. Like I was legitimately like force feeding myself chicken wings because I couldn't, I didn't have time. And Katie like tried to walk through with her box and the, the guy like screamed at her to come back. So we didn't get to eat them. And then we went in and the play was unreal. It was five and a half hours. And it's basically, I'm not going to ruin any plot just before, just disclaimer if nobody's seen it, but it's basically, it's like from the perspective of, of um like the trio's children. So on the end of Deathly Hallows where it like leaves off on like the train platform, that's when it like takes off and it's like all about their kids and Hogwarts and stuff. It's really, really cool. Um, so if you're ever in London and it's still showing, I would 100% recommend you to go and see it because it was really, really, really good. And then we went to Dishoom for dinner. So you get like a, I think it was like a two hour dinner break. Um, 
So I had booked, I had booked the show before as well because the show is literally Katie's favourite place. So we went to the show in Covent Garden, which is legitimately like three seconds away from Char- uh, Shaftesbury Avenue. So we went to the show, which is so good. Um, and then after we came back and we played we game. So it's like, it's like kind of like Pictionary, but like you play next and like you play in like a circle. So like if I drew a picture, I would like pass it to Will and Will has to guess in like words what he thinks my picture is. And then he passes it to Kate. Kate has to draw what Will has written and then vice versa. So it was really fun. So yeah, Lucy and Dan are on their way now. And then we're going to go for brunch again. So I will keep you guys up to date with the day. You gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance, yo. You will never regret. Okay, so we have retrieved a rogue mini. <laughs> hey, is in like, hey, like, hey, 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 why? Got a rogue birthday girl here. So show everyone your donuts, Katie. Katie got hashtag gifted some donuts. <laughs> um, so yeah, we just picked them up. So Will and Kate are back at the flat. We picked up Minnie. She got a snack in Bar Market. I got a wee ham and cheese. Ham and cheese toasted sandwich situation. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm having to get them in the box. That's what I'm in the back. In the back. Oh, you know you can. Dreamy. Oh, they smell divine. So we're gonna get a coffee and have a donut, and then we're gonna go home. What else are we gonna do? Go to the gym. We are gonna go to the gym. So yeah, we're just relaxing. Will and Kate are at home doing work, and then we, Lucy and Dan went home because they had stuff to do. So this is what we're doing. So here, a banana bread is so thick. Yes. But the banana bread it's like, like loaded banana bread it has oh, all of the stuff on it's top very of the good bread. we had I it for breakfast this morning comment down below if i should get the loaded banana bread <laughs> Katie and Kate are away because they have frisbee trials this morning so they were away at like eight o'clock this morning so yeah my flight is at one o'clock today so I need to be at the airport for like 12 but I'm flying from London City so Will's just gonna drop me which is unreal um but yeah yesterday was good fun we kind of what did we we went um where did we go when we came back what did we do in the morning did we go for brunch? Oh yeah, so we went for brunch with Lucy and Dan, which I showed you guys, and then we came back from St. Catherine's Docks. We walked, oh, and I showed you that, when we walked there to see Minnie um, at London Bridge, and then we came back, me and Katie went to the gym, um, and then we came back, walked to go already, and went to Katie's friend's house, and we had like a little like party for her, it was so cute. But because everyone had trials today, no, pretty much nobody drank. So, um, yeah, it was, like, low-key really funny. Like, we played, like, beer pong, but with, like, water. And we played, like, it sounds literally the, like the biggest loser party ever. But because everyone was, like, everyone's such good friends anyway. So it didn't really matter. So, like, there was a couple of people who were, like, absolutely wasted. But then the majority of people didn't drink. So we were playing, like, Rage Cage, which is this game that's so fun. And we were playing that with, like, Vimto. And, like, it was just, it was good fun um so yeah that was good and then we came back at like midnight um and they went to bed I went to bed too um so I got to sleep at like one I think and then yeah we're going home today so I've just been like lying because I got up when like I woke up when obviously they were like pottering around for them leaving so I am just gonna pack my stuff now because I haven't packed my bag yet um, and then I think I'm going to edit a video before I go because their Wi-Fi is unreal. So if I can get that uploaded before I head to the airport, then that's fabulous. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. I think me and Will were going to go, we were going to go and get breakfast, but I don't know if we're going to have time because he's still sleeping. Um, and I need to leave, I need to leave at like half 11. 
so we'll see but yeah i'll check in with you guys when something else happens okay so we arrived at the airport now i'm in like the literal corner of a bar that's not open and this is the smallest airport i swear i've ever been to i was like oh let's go and explore and i literally just walked from one side to the other in like three seconds so i've been to the toilet my gate's displayed in like six minutes so yeah we're gonna we're gonna wait for that um so me and will went by the time he got up and like showered and stuff we didn't have time to go for breakfast properly um so we went to this little we went to this little um bakery thing that's like just down the road from their flat so we went there um and i got a toasted cheese ham class on that you saw which was unreal and then i just made a coffee at the flat and i just made a little pumpkin spice and everything nice because they had pumpkin syrup which was so good so i got it took 17 minutes to drive here from their flat which was literally i was like how can't I fly here every single time? But the um, I was supposed to be flying back to Gatwick, but they canceled my flight. BA canceled my flight, and they they're like, when they cancel your flight, you can they put you onto a flight immediately. But then you can be like, I need to change the one I want to be on, and you can basically pick whichever flight you want that goes out the same day. So I was like, well, there's a flight from say at one o'clock. So I was like, select because the flights from City are so expensive, so expensive. So yeah, that was unreal so it took 17 minutes to get here so like i could have left literally 40 minutes later but it stresses me out i just like being there early so yeah we have arrived and yeah i'm now just bored i've literally facetimed everyone because katie's still in the trial until one o'clock so i couldn't phone her phoned mum phoned lucy phoned callum and they were all busy like callum had to clean because his mum was coming um Lucy had to edit a video. Mum was out for a walk with Lexi and was like talking to a neighbour. So I was just sitting there like, ugh, bored. Um, so yeah, I downloaded Doctor Strange on my iPad for the flight because it's like an hour and a half, I think. Um, but they always say this and it's always quicker. So I don't know, who knows how long it's going to be. I'll wait for the pilot to tell me when I got on the plane. But yeah, I was going to get a coffee, but I don't know where I will get a coffee from. I think there's a cafe in Europe because I saw someone with a cup. So I'll maybe do that. I don't know. Who knows what I'm going to do with the next 40 minutes of my life. Go for another wander maybe to the other side of the room. I also, I did 30,000 steps yesterday. I walked literally a half marathon. And my legs, like see by the end, like when we were at the party, like my feet, the balls of my feet were aching. Like aching full blown. Um, so I'm glad you guys are here to occupy me because I'm bored. So yeah we need to get tomorrow is monday so we're back to uni um and i need to obviously catch up with what i missed last week because i was away on thursday so i missed an employment lecture but they're like they're online so i can just access the materials so yeah this one's gonna be quite heavy i think with just catching up but that's okay because i've had a really good weekend and i'm really glad i came um so yeah let's go and figure out where we're going because the gate will probably be up by now so we can go and find our gate and just wander over there so yeah i'll show you guys when i get on the plane 